Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a little 18350 make with an RDTA built into the top. Uh, this is called the Chibit and this is from Vapor Skull Customs in Japan. Now I've been showing off their gear for a long time now, uh, quite a long time, and it's always well done. It's nicely machined, well presented, and this is its no exception. Price-wise, I think you're looking about 270 US dollars. You will have shipping on top of that. You will also have PayPal fees. Now, it is done through a Facebook group. There are, however, there are sites in Japan where I have seen this for sale. I suppose it depends how you feel about buying from a, a Japanese website. I don't know, I've never done that. Uh, please bear in mind if you're buying from Japan, then you will also have import fees on top of that. So please take that into account. Uh, we're just going to dive into this one because it's, it's cute as a button, this thing. When this arrived, it came in a little flight case just like this. It's all foam inside and it was well protected. There was also a little card and there was a couple of little stickers as well. A packet with two spare o-rings, a stainless steel 510 top cap for the, the mech tube and this little thing. How cute is that? Uh, listen, this is 18, it's an 18350 mechanical, pure mech. Uh, it's about 70 millimetres in height. It's 22 millimetres up the top and I think it comes out to about 22.6 at its widest point. But just to give you a comparison here, here's an 18650 battery and yeah, you, you get an idea of what's going on size-wise here. Now it's 304 stainless steel. This is, it's mouth to lung. Uh, it's, it goes from a very tight mouth to lung to a loose mouth to lung. Uh, I, and I'll cover that more at the end once we get a build in it and then start vaping with it. Uh, we do have an Ultum tank here. We have a vent hole here down the bottom. We have our, you know, we've got Chibit, Vapor Skull Customs going on here, and this is your firing button. There is no locking switch as such, and this button here is made from brass. Now, I've given this a quick polish up. Uh, it did come immaculate, and uh, this has been used, so any marks or imperfections you see on here are from me and actually using the device. What happens here, if we just unscrew this piece here. So I'm going to take the RDT, I'm struggling for words already, RDTA. So this actually unscrews. Now this is designed for this mech here. Um, I do believe that he is making a 510 adapter for this. So if you wanted to use it on any other mod, you will be able to down the line, but it's an optional accessory. Uh, I also believe you can buy, because uh, these are copper contacts, uh, you can buy silver contacts as well. Once again, that's an optional extra that you have to purchase. You can see just down the bottom here that we do have a, a copper little contact down there. And I think what I'll do is I'll try and get my screwdriver down there and we shall unscrew this and let's just take it to bits. Just holding the fire button in place. This is going to be fun putting this back together. Out that comes and lo and behold, there we go. We've got a, a big spring in there. Quite a simple button. There, there's nothing, no bells and whistles going on here. This is just, yeah, it's just a good old classic mech. Getting it back together is going to be fun, right enough, but uh, hang on a second. I'm trying to do this and keep this in shot as well. Uh, right, there we go. So I, I've got my, my screw in there and I should be able just to pop this back in here and then screw the two together. On a good day, this will work really, really well. And it did as well. There we go. We're back together. It is, it's quite a stiff button. It's not the lightest one I've come across. It's, I can, you know, fire it like that, but it's, yeah, it does lend itself better just being finger fired. As always, the, the threading on here, on, on anything I've had from VSC, it, it's always immaculate and yeah, the same applies here. I'm going to take an 18350 battery here. This is one of your, your new range, new cells of the 18350s. So you can, with this one, you're looking about 10 amps. So the lowest you can build uh, 
would be about 0 0.6, possibly 0 0.5. But this is a mouth to lung device. So you're going to be building a lot higher than that. But whatever battery you buy, please go along, check out Battery Mooch. And uh, there's always a link in the description and see what sales he would recommend. Uh, please don't just use, check them out. That's all I'll say to you, check them out. And we'll just screw that down there. And there we go. Now I will say, um, you can see there, there's just, there's no adjustment as such. Uh, there really is no adjustment in this. I mean, the contact in the RDTA is done up as tight as it'll go. I've got the, the contact down here as tight as it'll go. And even with this cell here, and I've tried E-Fests and I've got a couple of other 18350s. Uh, that's it. You can just see, it's, it's not a major gap, but it's not sitting completely down. I just wish there was a little bit more adjustment in the switch here so I could get the tank a bit further down. And that is, uh, being brutally honest, that is going to be one of my only kind of real negatives for this device. Going with the RDTA, I mean, this is, yeah, you, you have seen this kind of stuff before. I mean, we do have an Ultra tank here. We've got adjustable AFC up the top. It did not come with a drip tip, but I am going to use one of my little, this is a Simply Tips drip tip, and it just fits in there quite the thing. It does look good with an Ultum one as well, but I just like this one on it. Taking the top cap off, it comes off no problem. And you can see we've got a really small, a really small, a small chamber here. And there's your AFC hole. Now the air holes on the actual AFC here, uh, these are, I think these are about 1.3. Just using my calipers there, I can't quite get my calipers in, so it's kind of a rough guess, but each one is about 1.3. But you can take it, run all three open or take it down to one. But um, yeah, we'll cover that a bit more later on. Uh, we have a deck here. Th this is, a, I have seen photos of other ones with serial numbers on it. I don't know what this J01, is this a, a prototype or if this is serial number one? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, yes, I've seen ones with serial numbers here. We do have a little Delrin plug here, so you can fill this with like Gorilla juice bottles and so on. So you can pop that in there and in she goes. If I turn it round, you will see that the, you know, the post screws here, they're staggered. So, you know, you, you, you know yourself, you know, when you've got a coil, you've got a top and a bottom leg. So these take that into account. Going back round here, and we have two wick holes that go down into the tank. This is a three millimeter capacity, millimeter, milliliter capacity. And the actual wick holes here are three millimeters in diameter. And that applies to here as well. That's three millimeters in diameter. Taking this to bits, uh, it's quite straightforward. You take out your little copper screw there, and then you take, see the outer screw there, you take that out, that will release your positive block up here, and then you can unscrew the tank. It comes to bits quite easily. There's no great drama there at all. Now I'm using one of my little PC coils. This is 2.5 millimeter inner diameter. It's 0.8 ohm. And uh, yes, uh, it's actually wrapped the wrong way for this, but uh, it, you know, it doesn't really make any difference. This just goes in so easy and just pop it in like that. I'll get it tightened down and we're good to go. Now I've popped that coil in there and um, I've, I've pulsed it and so on. There's one thing I will say. Uh, this is a mechanical mod. Uh, because of the, the hybrid design of this RDTA, there is no way you connect this to a, a regulated device to test fire it. So when you push that fire button, there's no protection, there's no nothing. So if you've got a short, if you've got a bit of snip of wire stuck in there or anything, then yeah, nine out of 10 times, the wire will just short out and, and that will be it. Um, but if you have no experience of mech mods or building, I, I just wouldn't advise this for you. I just really would not suggest that you go down the route of buying this because there is no 510 connection and you cannot put it onto a regulated device to test fire it, which is something that you should really normally do unless you are an old dinosaur like myself. And even then, I still make mistakes, as many people know. As far as wicking this goes, listen, it's entirely up to you how you do it. There's there's three mil wick holes there. I normally cut to the outside diameter on this one. I'm using a heavy VG. Uh, it depends what kind of VG-PG ratio you're doing. 
uh, or using I should say uh, because I'm using a heavy VG I use less cotton uh, now I, I just you can see the way I've cut this up at a 45 degree angle there that's just my preferred method of doing this I do not pack the cotton in those wick holes it is actually it's quite sparse and the, you know you can see here that there's hardly any cotton going down into the deck at all now I'm going to be using some anatta here just now and you know as you can see that just goes on there no problem at all and we can just squeeze and we'll fill this up and put a little bit of juice across the top here give it another test fire and that's me I'm good now I have found with this because of the coil and because it's mouth to lung the way I'm vaping I actually and you know a lot of times if you're struggling with wicking you've probably got too much cotton going on but even then if you're still struggling with wicking you can leave this little guy out but it has been working fine for me actually leaving this in then I'm going to line everything up here and pop this on I've no issue with uh, you know adjusting the AFC here it's done the, the o-ring tolerances are bang on they're just exactly as you would want them to be and that's it that's me and my little chibit ready to go there's no two ways about this 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 is so cute I mean it really is cute and and I've said this in several videos and the past few months I've reviewed stuff like this many moons ago I, I, it's cute, it's nice, it's well machined and all the rest of it, but it's uh, it's an RDTA on top of an 18350 mech tube. So uh, don't go buying this and thinking that you're getting the latest and greatest and it's completely different to everything you've seen before. But with that out the way, uh, I will say a couple of points that I have to make here. Most of you will know this, most of you will get this and understand it and so on, but um, if you're watching this video, and you've never owned a mech mod before um uh, don't buy this i wouldn't advise that you buy this um mainly for the reason that uh, when you put a a build into this tank uh you are there is no way of checking the resist well there is a way of checking the resistance uh you could use a multimeter or something like that but there is no 510 pin on the bottom of this so you can't put it onto a regulated mod or a coil building station and test it there before you apply power to it through a mech tube. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to anybody that has never used a mech before. Um, I'm not saying you couldn't do it or use it properly, but uh, I just wouldn't recommend it. It is a shame that uh, you know there is a 510 adapter going to be coming for the RDTA, which is great. Uh, but um, it's I don't think it's available yet, and it will be something else that you would have to buy. Uh, the machining on this, uh, the threads, as always from VSC, are spot on. Um, I, I really have next to no issues with this device fully open right now um this is I, I would call that a loose mouth to lung i mean i can do a, a direct lung in it but by today's standards um, yeah i would say that's a loose mouth to lung i can take it down to the one ear hole and I mean, that feels like a, I mean, I think, did I say it was 1.2, 1.3 mil, the air hole? I don't know exactly, my calipers aren't the best, but that feels like a 1 mil. And <laughs> that's, yes, that's mouth to lung. I like this. I, I really like this little device as a, a an all-in-one. I mean, it's tiny and is good looking the you know the button isn't you know it's I, I i have this thing you know if i like to be able to fire like that i can with this but it's it is on the stiffer side the button i can push the button anywhere and it will fire uh, if, if i have to get into negatives um no drip tip included the fact that there's there appears to be no adjustment for battery okay looking at it now for me and 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 somebody that's been vaping for you know, a few years and has gone through the whole oh my god there's a gap uh, phase so 
you know, even now, just over seven years later, if I see a gap in anything, I mean, it really winds me up the wrong way. Looking at that, there's, there's not a gap as such. Um, you, you, most people wouldn't be bothered by it, but I can see looking at that, that I really do think that tank just has to come down a fraction more. And it doesn't matter which 18350 battery I'm using out of the latest batch of 18350 batteries, there is a tiny, tiny microscopic little gap there. And that bugs me. Uh, so that is my con for this device. Um, I do like the fact that I'll just unscrew the tank off of here just now. Did come with a 510 adapter, you know, for, for the actual mech. But once again, there's no adjustment within the tube. Uh, so, you know, I've got the, an Integra RTA there. And, and look at the gap between the two there, there's no adjustment. And, you know, the 510 and the Integra isn't really long by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, yeah, there, there's a gap. So th for me, the whilst the inclusion of the 510 is nice, um, because there's no adjustment there, it just is pretty worthless. I'm going through my other RTAs here and, and I'm having the same problem with all of them. You see that gap there? Um, so that's a shame. That That is a shame. Uh, I think it's nice that you included it, but it's to me, once again, it's pretty much worthless. Now the RDTA itself, I don't have any issues with wicking whatsoever. Uh, I don't actually find even with a heavy VG that I have to pull out the fill plug, which is something I used to do with a lot of these things back in the day. Um, I don't need to. It does wick well. I just don't have the cotton packed too tight into those wick holes. They're three millimeter inner diameter, uh, and it just yeah does the job. Uh, yes, I'm I'm tilting, uh, but uh, I tilt naturally when I'm vaping, so it's not a problem. I mean, that's once again, that's a, a 0 0.8 ohm, 2.5 inner diameter uh, Clapton coil in there, and it's working just the thing. I really would love to give this a two thumbs up and say it's brilliant. Um, if you are just going to use it in this configuration, then I will say that it is very, very good. The deck is easy to build on. There's, 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 there's nothing to, it's good. It's very good. I just the the lack of battery adjustment is one thing that just I think is a con for this device and 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 that it's a disappointment for me that one it really is because I would like to be able to use you know this as a you know a 510 not a 510 but an 18350 make um, and not just have to use this tank on it it's a shame it, it really is but by itself like this it's not shit. It's definitely not shit. It's a nice loose mouth to lung or a tight mouth to lung and the flavour is very, very good from it. Uh, I just, you know, you can see where the, the air holes come into the deck. I mean, I just tend to have the coil just sitting a little bit above where the, the air holes come in so the air's kind of hitting the bottom of the coil and, and it works a treat. Um, but once again, if you want to buy this, it is kind of a Facebook group affair. If not the Facebook, then there are some Japanese websites that you can go along to. Just have a Google and you'll find it. Um, remember in the UK, you have customs and all that you have to take into account. But that's it for me and the Chipit uh, from Vapor Skull Customs Japan. Um, I did get this free to review and to show off to you guys. And until next time, bye for now.